Hello there, this is Joe over at Terry. Today we're going to paint a wave with watercolors. Alright everybody, let's go over supplies. We're going to need some paint brushes. I got three, two flat, one round. Piece of watercolor paper. Crayons. Paper towels or napkins. Watercolors. A cup of water. And I have this cardboard board on the back for easy transport. First we're going to draw a wave, but we're going to use our hand as a guide to draw the wave. Okay, we're going to start out by drawing a wave. I'm using my hand as a guide. Uh, you can use your hand as a guide or you can draw it from memory. Now I'm going to draw some curvy wavy lines going from one side to the next side in a wavy motion, just like in the ocean. So I'll be going curved here and then I'll be later on be going from one end to the other in a wavy motion like this. Now I'm going to go over with some darker colors like blues and purples and greens, some cool colors, uh, so it stands out a little bit more. Right now I'm going to use a white crayon to create the whitewash or the foam of the wave. I'm just going to fill in the top corner of this wave right now. Alright, now we're going to paint with watercolors using a technique called wet on dry. Alright, we're doing wet on dry, so that's wet paint on a dry background. And I'm using warm colors, which are red, orange, and yellow. And I'm going to start out by painting red, just back and forth in the corner, from the corner. And then once I'm done with the red, I'm going to add orange. And then I'm going to paint the orange separately from the red, but later on I'm going to paint the orange into the red. But right now I'm just setting up the orange portion of it. And once I'm finished with the orange, I will get up to the yellow. The orange will take up the majority of the paper. And as you see, as I'm painting the orange right now, what do we see? We see the paint falling off or sliding off of the crayons that we drew earlier. So as you see, I have the curvy lines and then I also co colored in some white for the foam of the wave at the top of the wave for the paint to just roll right off. Of. Now that we finished the orange, I'm gonna dip into the yellow paint and finish off the background painting with the yellow. Now we're going to start blending the colors into each other. We're going to blend the yellow into the orange and the orange into the red by just going back and forth from corner to corner. Okay, now that we got the first layer of painting down, we can let it dry in the sun or we can use a hairdryer to dry it. Okay, now that our painting is dry, we're going to do the next technique, which will be wet on wet. Wet on wet is when we water down the paper first and we want to just use as much water as we can, just really get the paper wet and then later on we'll be adding the paints to the water. I'm going to use my round brush for the colors. I'm going to get the paints wet because we're doing wet on wet with a wet background. I'm just going to drop the colors into it. So I'm using cool colors again, the blue, purple, and greens, and I'm just going to drop them into where it's already wet and then the water will do the rest. Now I'm going to drop in the green into the water as well and mix it around. And now this is what is called a variegated wash, where it's more than one color being mixed and washed together. And I'm just going to move it around and, and let the water do most of the work, but I'm going to move it around until I'm happy with it. All 
right, now that our painting is done, it's time to dry. So we can either set it out to the side, like in the sun, or we can use a hairdryer to dry quickly. And once it's dry, there you go, you have a watercolor wave. All right, now that our painting is done, I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I hope you enjoy your day and thank you for your time and have a good one. Thank you.